It's been a month since I last updated my controller settings, and they're already outdated. Mainly because of the insane mobility that's in this new season. Like every game, we have Sweat soaring across the map, Sweat abusing Kid Shockwave launcher, and that's on top of all the other movement like cars, vines, gliders. There's just so many positions where you have to be able to hit shots to win your game. And that's why I had to change my settings. So let's check out the only controller settings that I recommend right now. And if you don't believe that these are good, just watch until the end of this video because I'm putting these settings through a gauntlet where I have to complete three challenges before the end of this video. First, I'll have to 1v3 a good team in solo trio. Then, I have to hit a clip on someone. And finally, I have to fry someone out of the sky, like 200 to 0. And I'll be doing all that with a 0.05 slide hold time. We'll set these to both and 0.1 vibrations off. Build and edit multipliers are both 2.0. The look sense is just a flat 43% with no boost at all. At the end of last season, I started to really like these to both be on 37%. But this season, things just move way too fast and we have to go higher. Then, ADS sense is 7% of horizontal, 9% of Vertical, which is the same ADS sense that I've used, but I added 2% boost to both of these. This 2% might not seem like a lot, but I promise it really helps when you're trying to catch up to people flying through the air on rockets or shockwaves. As soon as I turned this boost up, it was a literal game changer. The look input curve is of course on linear, and my dead zones for my custom pro controller are 9% on both left and right sticks. Now for the settings gauntlet. The first challenge here is to 1v3 a good team in solo trios. So let's get in here and make this happen. My goal is to land safe, but it doesn't look like it's actually going to happen. There's two, and there's three. Okay, those guys were actually really bad. Right, I think I have the perfect plan to execute this 1v3. And I found where they are. First things first, I need to deal a lot of damage on one play. Like this. Okay, then we're gonna get in here and we're gonna push them really hard. And now we have a 1v2, which is way more manageable. There we go, bro. Let's go. I still only killed two, though. That wasn't even a full squad. Dang it. There we go. We got two. Come on. Yo, this might be easier if I didn't have almost 80 ping, bro. What? One down. Oh my god, bro. Two down. <laughs> bro, he just came up through my floor. Oh my god, let's go, bro. I got my 1v3. Holy, I don't know why my ping is so high. That made it so much harder. So that means the first challenge on the gauntlet is completed. But next, I need to actually clip another play. While I'm playing this game, it's actually lunchtime. So let's order some food from Lifer, the sponsor of this part of the video. This is an app you can download that integrates in with the game you're playing to quickly order food from the cheapest delivery service available without having to stop your game. You can store up to 10 favorite meals from millions of restaurants. Like, let's order this Jimmy John sandwich right here in the middle of the game. Bam, literally two clicks and my food's on the way. They even give you these things called Lifer Bucks, which give you discounts just for playing the game. And if you create a free Lifer account with the referral code carters 2 k or by clicking the link in the description, you actually get a free $5 discount off your first order. I actually love the app. I personally use it. So again, the link to make a free Lifer account is in the description. And now let's game while my food gets delivered. All right, whatever, bro. Solo truly is hard. But I'm fully convinced that I have some of the sweatiest normal solo lobbies you'll ever see. Like, I swear some of these players are under undercover pros. Just watch this. Let's go. Okay, yeah, so against these types of players, I need to hit a clip on somebody. And I need a 200 oh someone out of the sky. The aim came in clutch. Wow. Of course he has that. Alright, bro. This guy's just being annoying. Oh, get over here, homie. Thank you very much. If you're enjoying this gameplay or these settings, please come stop by my Twitch stream. I go live all the time around 2 p.m. All you have to do to find me is search Carter2K on Twitch, and I talk to chat, try to win some games. It's pretty fun, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you stopped by and dropped me a follow. Okay, now let's finish this gauntlet.
<laughs> wow, bro. Let's go. Look at this aim. I have seven elons, but none of them were a fry out of the air, and none of them were a clip so far. Here we go. Here's my opportunity. 42. Oh, bro. Almost. Wow, bro. Let's go, he died to fall damage. Oh. Ooh, let's go, bro. <laughs> Let's go. GG's, man. Dang, I should have let him in so I could hit a clip for the win, bro. I keep forgetting. To finish this challenge, I'm going to hit my clip in 1v1. And after this, I have a plan for how I'm going to fry someone out of the sky. Oh my god. I just don't think that's that clean of a clip, I'm going to be honest. Bro, 148. That could have been crazy. Oh, I'll take that. That's gotta be a clip. I mean, if you're being on almost 50 ping. All right, now it's 200 oh someone out of the sky. Oh my. There's 90. Wow. Bro, it's, that's the closest I've gotten so far. Oh my god, bro. Wow. I'll be honest, one of those has to count as a fry. Remember to subscribe and come watch my Twitch stream. Thanks for watching.